Um, hi, this is Cheryl, and this is Cheryl's craft room, sort of. This is a trial video to see how to use the space um, and how the space looks and how to, sh and to show, show some of the pieces that I'm working on. For starters, <laughs> I'm working on a little needlepoint piece, which is um, the state flag of New Mexico. Uh, this little um, canvas I think I picked up at a little shop in Brooklyn and since I can't remember the name I won't say it um, but what's interesting about this piece is that instead of using um, one color for the yellow I've used a series of colors that I had selected for a uh, and a, a Bargello project that I worked on a few years ago. Uh, and so the colors of the yellow in the background are about five, five different colors of, of yellow um, tapestry yarn. The rays coming from the sun are actually stitched with embroidery floss. The embroidery floss is variegated so that it starts off as a pink and then it gradually becomes darker and darker. Um, and what I used is the, oh, uh, I think it's called the turkey stitch or the bouillon stitch where um, the needle is placed so that several winds of embroidery floss on the needle um, can be um, uh, um, can be used to form a very long stitch. Um, so you see where the pinks gradually change into red, and the reds gradually change into darker and darker reds. Um, and I'm particularly pleased with this effect because it gives the um, um, very elegant Indian feel um, design a little funky feel uh, and uh, that works for um, my personality and it also works um, for a more um, sort of textured sort of feel. This particular piece will probably um, may go on a mm, handbag or a uh, clutch or um, a pillow. Uh, the other pattern, uh, the other canvas, because I bought two, is, uh, is the um, state flag of Arizona. Um, and they may make um, a good pair to put on a shopping tote or um, a vest or something that will um, s sort of show off the, um, the texture and the funky feel of the south flags of the two states in the southwest. And lastly, um, where I live, two residents recently died, one from what I call self-destruction and another for a reason that um, I'm not aware. And in, order, in a response to the news, I created a bag. The bag is online so far, um, but the bag is made from uh, scraps that I had collected 
during the during the period of time that I was here when the residents were here, where the, where the people who died were here. And I used um, four layers of, um, of a baby blanket. Uh, a, 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 I think it's a receiving blanket folded in quarters uh, to serve as batting. And I stitched directly onto the um, two panels of the uh, of the baby of a sick each panel was made out of a single quarter folded baby blanket um, on which I stitched various shapes of fabric um, two panels used I mean two panels were um, to create the bag, the, the two panels, which were separately made, were stitched together here and here. And this little section here makes the bag flat on the bottom so that the bag can be used for any number of things. Um, I want to point out that the origin of some of these scraps are from uh, Panama and Central America, these two. Uh, uh, this one and this one. Um, the remainder of the fabrics were fabrics that I had purchased for a uh, 4th of July tote in 2021. And these are the fabrics that um, that I bought at that time. Um, some of these fabrics are basically sheets or um, um, linens that I purchased at the Salvation Army. And some are scraps that were in collections of fabrics uh, that people um, throw out or if they know that I would like the scraps then they make sure that I get them like this piece which has a little charcoal design the bigger sheet has a sort of complex uh, uh, sort of um, circular um, design with s some straight areas uh, and um, that particular fabric I picked up picked up from a lady who uh, had had been making some items and had a big bag of the the fabric. Um, this fabric was uh, uh, was a part of a um, uh, yardage that I purchased for a canvas bag. And uh, the remainder of the fabrics are, uh, for instance, these two were found in a bag of um, uh, uh, scraps and children's clothes that were on a stoop in uh, Brooklyn, New York. Um, so I'm particularly proud of this particular bag because I had not been doing this um, stitches you go quilting where you stitch directly onto the batting and then the final product you know has the thickness of the uh, of a quilt with the design of the fabrics that you placed. Um, incidentally this particular bag also did not require any particular shapes so that the um, the fabric was uh, Let's see um, this was the first piece and the remainder of the pieces were stitched on uh, as I went along uh, so you can see that the sizes of the of the pieces kind of increase as you go out and the same thing on the back this was the center um, square that was stitched on initially and then all the other pieces were added around so I'm particularly pleased that I was able to create a, a 
a functional item um, um, in response to learning of the news of the two people who died in our building. Um, it has yet to be lined. I think I want to use a, um, a lining, perhaps this one um, or this which um, is one of the fabrics uh, that's on the, um, that the pan from which the panels are made. Um, one section here, you can actually see the baby blanket. I'm not sure how that happened. Probably a little distraction. And I'm thinking about either leaving it there or maybe adding a patch um, and some sort of tab so that um, I don't have to open the seam up and I could put a little button there and it'll be a nice little um, accent for the bag. Again, the bag needs to be lined um, and I am thinking that I may unpin the fold and um, lengthen the depth of the bag um, to use maybe for summer or or something in the house. Maybe a scrap bag for scraps or um, something to place uh, <laughs> electronics in or uh, other items that need, may want fit in the bag. Um, and one last thing, next to last thing, um, since last October, I have been making, um, scrunchies from fabric that I have, um, and this happens to be an unfinished scrunchie, um, but the scrunchies are being made and sent to, um, social service organizations which have homeless, uh, which uh, serve homeless women and children. And so the scrunchies are prepared and made, uh, prepared and shipped uh, to one social service agency so far, Urban Pathways in New York City. Um, the project is particularly close to my heart because um, Urban Pathways um, was very helpful to me when I first came to New York City. Um, was sort of returning the favor by creating these scrunchies and sending them uh, to uh, be a, a, a sort of pick me up for um, women who 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 struggle with the difficulty of being, um, well, without a house, so, I, or homeless, as people like to say. These scrunchies are made from um, uh, solids and also um, um, prints. Um, and let me see if I can find some ones that are finished or more finished. Um, I don't see. Here's one that's finished. And they are um, use seven inch elastic and the fabrics that uh, I have left over from projects. Mm -hmm. I also have <laughs> also um, when I first started making scrunchies, I was um, fabricless almost, and I had um, 
uh, uh, flannel sheets um, that were Christmas designed that were a little bit too warm for October so I um, made a part of the sheet into scrunchies. Um, the sheet had a Christmas motif so you can actually see uh, joy well it's kind of backwards I mean not backwards but you can't really see clearly and Christmas trees and cheer um, and also I made a series of scrunchies out of um, like an organza fabric, which um, is uh, very dressing kind of formalish um, for girls. And um, this one is in off white. This one is in a sea green from a a fabric that I found, a curtain that I found actually at the Salvation Army and I made it, it particularly full. I'm not sure um, um, if the extra volume is too appealing but we'll see. And I also made a very big scrunchie, an extra wide scrunchie out of uh, teal um, it's lighter than organza uh, and so it has a little uh, extra fullness um, width wise instead of volume with around the um, elastic um, the more formal um, scrunchies um, I may or may not pack up, but I think I might pack them up since um, um, the homeless women will enjoy adding something dressy or special um, to their outings, to their to their outings with their um, on special and special occasions. Um, so that's it. Three projects. Um, that I've been working on. Um, if you're interested in seeing more about the project, seeing more projects that I'm working on, and the progress of Cheryl's craft room, um, the project, progress of organizing Cheryl's craft room and getting rid of some of the clutter and um, uh, creating a more appealing background, visit us again at uh, Cheryl's Corner, Cheryl's Crafting Corner, Cheryl's Country Crafting Corner. See you soon.